today we're going to take the derivative of y equals the cosine of x over 1 plus the sine of x. Uh, we have a quotient, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So we'll say y prime equals the bottom function, or the function in the denominator, so that's 1 plus the sine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is the negative sine of x, minus the numerator, which is the cosine of x, times the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of the sine of x is the cosine of x. And then that's all over the denominator, which is 1 plus the sine of x squared, quantity squared. Um, I'm going to multiply out the, uh, nu the numerator. This was actually going to clean up quite well, so we'll go ahead and do that. We don't always need to, but in this case, a lot of times with trig functions, they will. So we have negative sine of x times 1 is negative sine of x. Negative sine of x times sine of x is negative sine squared of x. Negative cosine of x times cosine of x is negative cosine squared of x. Not to mention this is everyone's favorite, will employ everyone's favorite trigonometric identity, Pythagorean identity. Um, if I factor out a negative here and a negative here, look, see what happens. So I have y prime equals negative sine of x times uh, minus, or minus one times, if I pull out a negative one from the sine squared, I get positive sine squared of x, same difference with the negative cosine, I get positive cosine squared of x, and that's all over one plus sine x quantity squared. Uh, the sine squared plus the cosine squared is one. So I have y prime equals negative sine of x minus one divided by one plus the sine of x quantity squared. Now if I factor out a negative one from the numerator, I get negative one times sine of x plus one over one plus the sine of x quantity squared. Well, now I have sine of x plus one over essentially sine of x plus one. It's the same thing, so I can actually cancel one of those in the denominator and that one in the numerator, and the derivative becomes much, much simpler. I get negative one over one plus the sine of x.